So hi, hello and welcome again. A micro punter here. Well, microscope eyepieces, this is the topic that I would like uh, to talk about today. I think often a little bit neglected. Uh, many people focus mostly on the microscope objectives down here, but the eyepieces, uh, yeah, those optical elements that we look through are also quite important. And uh, today I would like to simply talk a little bit um, about those. Uh, let's take this one off here. Look, uh, I've got a big one over here, a small one over here. Both of them magnify the same amount, 10 times. Um, yeah, uh, but what's the difference? Well, obviously the size is uh, quite a bit different. Um, but how does this impact actually the image uh, that we see? Well, uh, there are actually two factors or two aspects that I would like uh, to mention today. Um, and just if you, for example, just compare the diameter here, there's a big uh, difference here. This is about, about 30 millimeters across, so three centimeters. Well, this one over here is uh, about uh, 23 uh, millimeters, 23 and a half millimeters across. Yeah, so it's uh, seven, approximately seven millimeters difference. Um, and this actually has uh, quite a significant impact uh, on the image that you see. Um, the magnification is the same, uh, but those uh, eyepieces with uh, a large diameter here have a significantly larger so-called field of view. Let me put this back here. Um, what does this mean? This basically means that uh, you're at the same magnification. Of course, you're able to see much more um, of, uh, of the image. And uh, even though, <laughs> I'll take it off <laughs> again, um, even though seven millimeters does not really appear to be a, a huge difference, um, actually the area that you see is uh, quite, uh, quite a bit larger. Um, however, the diameter here alone um, is not the only thing that is relevant, the barrel diameter. Yeah. Uh, basically what is really important is actually the inside diameter of the lens. It's basically the aperture through which uh, the light is able to pass. And uh, of course, the larger the barrel diameter of the eyepiece, uh, the wider the field of view is possible can be. Um, and even this one over here, uh, for example, has uh, 23 millimeters uh, across, but the inside diameter is significantly smaller, only approximately 16 uh, millimeters. Um, so this basically makes the lens uh, significantly cheaper because the optical elements can be smaller. Yeah, and uh, for this reason, when you look through it, then you're also able to only see a significantly smaller um, area of the specimen here. And that is something that I would like to illustrate using a few examples. And the second thing that I would like uh, to talk about is the so-called eye relief. Um, and the eye relief is the distance that uh, essentially you have to have between the eye and the eyepiece. And generally a large eye relief is to be preferred. For example, this cheap lens over here, I have to go really close in order to see a proper, um, the, the full image. Um, and those uh, better eyepieces here can be further away. So if I'm wearing glasses, um, and then I'm able to actually uh, look through those eyepieces also with my glasses on uh, because uh, the glasses, glasses prevent me from actually going all the way close to the, um, to the eyepiece. So when uh, choosing eyepieces, uh, take uh, this into consideration that uh, essentially you want to look at the field of view and also, of course, the eye relief. Now, many um, eyepieces have uh, written on it the WF and uh, WF stands for wide field. Interestingly, a lot of eyepieces have that even though they're not wide field. So I don't know why they do that. Um, but this one, for example, also has a WF 10 times, wide field 10 times. Honestly, it's not a wild wide field objective. It's, it's really uh, eyepiece, uh, not, not objective eyepiece, of course. It's not a wide field eyepiece. Um, it's um, yeah, a fairly low cost one made fully of plastic. So I think uh, there might be marketing reasons uh, behind that. But in any case, uh, what I'm going to do now is I would like to give you now a short uh, demonstration of uh, how uh, the different, how different eyepieces, and I selected uh, a few of them here, how the different eyepieces actually look uh, through um, the microscope. And what I have done is I've actually not used my microscope camera connected, but I've obviously not because it's connected to a photo tube. But I actually used my mobile phone and took a picture directly through the eyepiece. So it is actually a very yeah direct view of uh, what you're actually also are going to see. So let's have a look at that. So these are the eyepieces that I'm going to put under the microscope. All of them have a magnification of 10 times. Uh, but of course, as you can see, uh, the size is already quite different. This one over here is uh, the smallest and cheapest one. It says WF10X, wide field 10 times magnified. But it's not a wide field eyepiece. I think it's a little bit of a misnomer. Um, it's made fully of plastic, very cheap. Uh, these uh, two eyepieces here um, also have the same magnification. The one on the left has a field number of 18 and the one on the right, that is truly a wide field eyepiece, 26 and a half. 
Now, that's a pretty huge one and also quite an expensive one. If you do not know the field number, um, all you have to do is just take a caliper and measure out the inside aperture um, of the eyepiece. So that's basically the space uh, through which light is able to enter the eyepiece. And we can see over here, this has a diameter of 16 millimeters and therefore the eyepiece has a field number of 16. Yeah, here it is. Um, that basically um, shows you what you see through the microscope, FN16, field number of 16. That is uh, one uh, eyepiece uh, with a field number of 18. Um, yeah, we go up uh, with uh, the uh, field of view, FN20. So these eyepieces are already quite quite decent. Yeah, um, Also a little bit larger. Um, and uh, 22, this is pretty much uh, the largest uh, one that you're able to get uh, with uh, the barrel diameter of 23 and a half. And those over here, 26 and a half, uh, this is already um, the eyepiece with a pretty large barrel diameter of around 30 millimeters and in comparison again we're back to FN16 yeah, so it's a quite a huge difference that we see here. Some eyepieces um, have a rubber protection on the outside and this is basically if you rest your eyeglasses on top then they do not become scratched. Uh, cheap eyepieces um, are quite uh, harsh uh, on the eyeglasses. I already managed to damage some of my eyeglasses this way by scratching uh, it and uh, some um, eyepieces pieces also have a little needle on the inside that is basically an arrow um, which can be used for pointing at different um, objects under the microscope. Um, those arrows can be removed if uh, they disturb you. Um, I just left it in in this one here but generally uh, they're not so nice when you want to take pictures for example um, but generally they can be removed uh, quite easily. You can also replace them with uh, with other um, like micrometers and, and other uh, things here. Yeah, some uh, uh, eyepieces um, can have a rubber cup on the outside which allows you to adjust the um, eye relief as well. So I think uh, that's all I want to show you today. Um, hope it was informative um, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.